the reality of me editing all day because that's what I've just been doing in my bed right here. I'm actually really excited because I have been booking stuff to go back to Italy. That's what I've been doing on my laptop as well today and I'm going to give you guys such a good travel hack. If you guys have a VPN, you can actually get your flights way cheaper. If you've never used a VPN before, they're so easy to use and my little brother actually showed me how to use one before and he changed the game for me so basically it takes your real address and it swaps your location to a different one it just changes your ip address to make it look like you're somewhere else so i've used them so many different times especially whenever i'm traveling and that's when i use it the first time i ever used it was in aruba when i really really wanted to watch 90 day fiance i think yeah i think i wanted to watch 90 day fiance abroad in in Aruba and I couldn't watch it. I was so sad and my little brother put a VPN on my laptop and automatically I was able to watch it again. This video is sponsored by Surfshark VPN and I'm just really excited to work with them because I know I'm going to be using them so much whenever I go back to Italy. I'm going to be there for such a long time and I need to watch my shows. You can use a VPN for cheaper flights, just discounts on like products in general to protect your identity to watch shows abroad, which is my favorite way to use one. Surfshark has over 32 thousand servers and 100 countries so basically the best way i like to use it like i said for watching tv abroad is that whenever i'm on vacation i will just change my location to back in new york and then that way i can access all the shows and movies and all the good things that i want to watch abroad in the comfort of where i'm at also vpn will make sure that all of your personal information is protected so whenever you're using public wi-fi i know i have that issue a lot whenever i'm out like at a coffee shop working you want to make sure all of your personal information is safe so vpn will protect that so it just blocks ads trackers all that like stuff that we don't like surfshark actually offers a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk in trying it i'll have it linked down below in the description box and they gave me a promo code for you guys you can use the promo code page in all caps to get an additional six months free and that will be linked down below that is such a good deal i know travel's coming up girl i know you're going away on vacation with your girlfriend your family whatever and you're going to need this while you're away so definitely take advantage of the opportunity check them out in my description box and thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Tina and I are having a little girls night for boy band. Ah! No, <laughs> not yet, <laughs> but actually. That's my man. That's her man. Her man's made, um, is this ragu, just beef ragu kind of? I no, guess. it's short, a rib. short rib pasta. Short rib. I don't know, you made it from scratch. Oh, short rib pasta. We got fresh pasta from Misi. Yes. Or it's called Misi, Misi yeah. This place is so good. Well, actually, I think it's a little overrated, but like their yeah. pasta is like good. Well, the pasta is so good. It's yeah. just like for what it takes to get into the restaurant it's and get a reservation. Absurd. It's too much to yeah. get into this restaurant. I've been though. It's like good, but yeah. it's like you know, there's other good restaurants. In but the little storefront that they opened up where they sell the fresh pasta now is so in cute. Brooklyn. Yeah. So cute. So cute. Heating it all up, and then we're going to finish our vision boards because we didn't finish them. I'm gonna sleep over, so I got us some magazines. I just wanna let everyone know it's impossible. No one sells magazines anymore. It's impossible. <laughs> I went to Target, two smoke shops, CBS. Did you go to like an actual magazine store too? An actual, like, well, or something? I went to, it said it was an actual magazine store, it wasn't. Um, and then I went to, yes, I went to five, six places to get magazines, and then these were the only options, so we're gonna work with these to finish our. Uh, vision boards if me and Christina went to this place called Happy Medium 
to do it and we never finish so I got some magazines for us so we can finish them I'm gonna drop the pasta in oh let me, <laughs> I know you said you wanted to film it let me get you only one bundle of pasta is going in right now oh okay yes do it ready okay magic loop <laughs> and then um the group yeah yeah no it is um I talked to him a little bit last night and then we were texting earlier and you know just going like freaking the fuck out basically that's expensive no it's 15 dollars for a pound so for all of this no it's not bad at all i'm just wiggling it yeah i think it's fine i don't think it's gonna add much flavor no, no, i'm not i'm not doing that but oh my god i got onto my new our place plates oh I know. So I'm like, I gotta like yeah. test it like I was make it gonna special. yeah attempt to. Okay. Well no that pressure. didn't really work, but yeah. it's fine. <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. It, looks, it smells so good. I'm starving. I know, right? And then per what he says to do. So this is a secret ingredient. Yeah, so it's add a little bit of sun-dried tomato oil. Ooh. Just, like, drizzled on top and then pepper. Wow. I'm doing a taste test right now. Alright. Alright. Are you filming it? Yes. Okay, good. He wants to know. I know he wants to. My bin's okay. It's pretty good. Really? Mm-hmm. Amazing. He's gonna be very The happy. short rib's really good. It, it's giving grandma. That's basically what he is. He's grandpa. This is exactly what I needed after battling battling to find a magazine. I was all over Manhattan, walking everywhere. So cold. Just so cold looking for magazines. Oh, I know. Today, the wind... Dude, did you see the snow for like 10 minutes earlier? No. I just watch movie, a movie all day, honestly. Oh my god, what movie? Oh, I actually watched a really good movie. What was it? Um, what... It was on Netflix. It was called, um, it was about these two assistants that were getting their bosses together. Oh, shut the fuck up. I love that movie. Oh, it was it so called? good. Called, um, I think it's called, like, Set It Up. Set It Up. Maybe. Set it Up. I loved it, too. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's so funny. That's such, like, a, like a classic, like, rom-com. Bad. No, I was saying you need to watch Forgetting Sarah Marshall. Christina and I are making... Sleepy girl mocktails. Yes, and then we're gonna watch a Barbie movie and do our vision boards. So gonna be a more girly night. Oh my god. No, you really are girling. What you need, Poppy. This is the raspberry rose. Then you need tart cherry juice. This is her. She's beautiful. Great. And then magnesium powder. And ice. Yes, and ice. So maybe pour the ch the cherry juice first. How much do we need? Does it matter? Uh, like less than half. Half of half, I think. I've never had cherry juice. Matt buys it and like, keeps it here sometimes. Really? Yeah, I know. It's so it's random. Like really random of a man to do. I know. Okay. Do you think that's enough? Oh my god, that's like do you think way more than we needed. Oh, you said <laughs> half. I said half of half. Oh, I, bro, that's not <laughs> English. Half of a half. I was like, what is she saying? Okay, good. It says half a teaspoon to two teaspoons. It says to work your way up. So we'll do a heaping half teaspoon. I feel okay. like that works. We're not gonna like overdose on magnesium. No. <laughs> I think we're gonna be fine. Yeah. Is this gonna be our new thing? <laughs> EP girl cocktail, okay. mocktail. <laughs> Bitches on TikTok that have like that fancy stirrer, the frother thing that they use. Oh, that's a little dramatic. I know. Okay, ice. Yes. Happy. And then, oh wait, what? should we just share one? Okay, ready? Can I get like a... Wow. A little stir. Wow, she's a bartender. <laughs> <laughs> My Accutane sobriety. Right. You weren't sober last night, bitch. Now I know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, cheers. cheers. Oh, it's pretty good. I really like it. Now Barbie. Barbie movie. And vision board. We're finally Look watching that. the Barbie movie. I well, I'm finally watching the Barbie movie. Christina has seen it like three times. <laughs> <laughs> I have. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so we're watching this, and then we're going to finish our vision boards because we didn't finish them last time. Oh, they're 
our wonderful lives to find Destiny. Oh, you're just gonna slow me down. Or, what if there's beach? You'll need someone who's a professional in that. There's beach. Did you bring your roller blades? right now because I'm using a light but me and Christina are going to a Mean Girls premiere tonight with Elf Cosmetics which is really really exciting about to leave get in the car and I'll vlog for you guys let's go I am editing this video right now and honestly I'm just like upset right now so I just want to like rant because the last thing you guys saw was me at the Elf event and we saw the Mean Girls movie with I saw it with Christina and honestly the movie was interesting I think I'm just getting old like I don't know it was just kind of seemed a little like trendy I really don't like musicals like I didn't think it was bad but I wasn't obsessed with it I don't know I'm glad I saw it though here's a mask but I don't care I went to the gyno just for like my normal checkup I honestly haven't really liked my past gynos in the city and this is the fourth girl I have now seen I've lived in New York for eight years though um, but this is now the fourth girl I've seen and I, I'm seeing her because it's Christina's gyno and Christina loves her so we actually made an appointment together and went together to go see her. Um, I had my appointment a little bit before her. I've talked about this a lot. I'm off of birth control. I've been off for now like seven, eight months I believe and I was on it for 10, 11 years before. And I've always had like irregular periods. My room's a mess too, sorry about that. I have always had irregular periods. Like whenever I was really young, I started going on birth control because I had my period for six months straight. Went off of it for a little bit, then it get my period for three months, then went back on it and I've never been off of it since until now. My period has been so irregular after getting off of birth control. I know it can take up to a year to have your body adjust to it i haven't had my period for like two months and then before this i didn't get it for like two months as well so i go to my gyno and i tell her all this today and she was like mm, sounds kind of weird have you ever been tested for like pcos and i was like no i haven't but i was like what is the procedure entail and she was like oh it's an ultrasound to see if there's cysts on your ovaries and i was like oh yes i have i've had that done at different gynos whatever i was like I've gotten it done before they said everything was normal and she was like mm, I don't know let's like do it just in case because she was already going to test my hormones I get the ultrasound she comes back in the room she goes yeah you have cysts on your ovaries and you have PCOS I am just so upset right now I've been tested for it before I've always told my doctors how I've had heavy periods they're so irregular and they're always like oh um it's fine, like, your birth control, da 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 So I just wanted to come on here and say always, always, always advocate for yourself. See multiple doctors. Always such a firm believer in seeing multiple doctors. I've seen so many different gastroenterologists for my gut issues. They've never helped me, but now I'm seeing a holistic doctor for that. I knew something was up to. I knew something was weird around, like, April. And my I saw a gyno. She said everything was fine. I just had BV which I keep getting that again, which that's a whole nother thing that we're like trying to figure out. The way other doctors are like, oh, just like do birth control, like you're fine, like everything's fine. And like, I, I love both forms of traditional and holistic medicine. Um, my dad is a doctor, like I believe in both, but even my dad tells me a lot of times that doctors will just prescribe you something just to like put a bandaid on it and don't really wanna like look into it more and that's why i'm just so careful now with my doctors i just feel like whenever you know something's wrong with you you know like trust yourself you know your body especially now that i'm off birth control like i need to figure out this because i just thought i wasn't getting my period because of you know 
cleaning off the pill, but you know, this obviously also probably has something to do with it. Also, if you have any like supplements, recommendations for PCOS, let me know. I just went through like a whole rabbit hole of like looking up different things, like preferably supplements. I really, 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 really don't want to go back on birth control. I like, I think that's why I cried after she told me that because she was like, oh, you can go back on birth control to solve this. Like that's typically like what we do. I just wanted to cry because I'm working so hard to get off of birth control. I felt so good off of birth control. I don't want to go back on birth control. Like I don't. I'm like, I'm open to it, but like, I really, really don't want to do that especially at least for a little bit like i just want to be off of it i've been on it for so long it made me so motionless it's just like a personal thing i think i thought it was great i'm glad i went on it i'm glad i tried i understand like some people need to go on it but i just really don't want to go back on it and that's what is like making me sad about this whole thing i just want to be able to like fix me without birth control <laughs> okay I'm going to dinner tonight with Tori, and you guys will see that soon. I think this vlog is getting too long, and I'm very tired. We're going to start a new vlog tomorrow, which will be a weekend of my life. It's going to be a good vlog, too, because I have a birthday party. I have a date, okay? So I'm going to vlog it. I'm done. I'm tired. Thank you again to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. Take advantage of the opportunity, and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, love you. Bye.